Good morning, it's day four of Spookathon. I'm once again at the doggy park with Ares and I'm listening to Morning Star. I made quite a bit of progress on that. I'm about 65% into it and I have another 30 minutes of listening time left today. And I'm behind on the ebook because I was so tired last night. I only read for about 15 minutes. So yeah, that's it. We'll see how it goes for the rest of the day. It's another busy writing day. So I don't know if other than now and during my walk and before bed, I'll get any reading time, but we'll see. Catch you later. Well, hello! It's the end of day four of Spookathon, and I haven't been filming a lot for today, so I thought I'll do a short wrap up for the day now. If you're hearing a lot of humming, it's because my computer is working overtime to render my video for today, which will coincidentally include days one to three of my Spookathon vlogging, and I hope you have enjoyed that already because by the time you see this it's been posted for a few days. Um, what I didn't mention in the first video today, because you're an idiot, is that it's this little boy's <laughs> it's this little boy's birthday today. He's turning five. We've had him for five years. Can you imagine that? I can't. E he's still a puppy and acts like one all the time. Doesn't act like a grown-up dog so yeah i've been having fun with him at the park and pretty much smooching him all day because <laughs> why not swallow him as far as my progress goes i've had about one hour and a half of listening time for morning star which is the final book in the red rising trilogy and that's about it. I'm probably going to read a bit before I go to bed, but not sure when that will be. It's 10, 10 13 p.m. right now. I've still got this video to finish rendering and upload it then. And I still have some writing to do because I just want to get this writing project finished today. I, just, I can't deal with postponing it anymore. I've done my best to compensate for all the health issues that have kept me from writing it. and. Uh, once I'm done with it, I'm hoping that from Friday to Sunday I'll have more reading time and at least manage to read the four books I originally planned to read. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, that's it for now. I shall see you all tomorrow. Good morning and happy Friday to you. It's day five of Spookathon. And I'm not sure if you can hear it through the door, but my dog Ares is doing his best to impersonate a monkey. Because he wants to go to the park and he has no patience. Especially when I banished him out of my room because he was making too much noise. As you can see, I'm wearing my Nano Winner t-shirt. Um, this is from a few years back. Yeah, I'm ready for another day. I didn't make a lot of progress reading last night because I was up until... Uh, Ares, please! No. <laughs> I was up until about 1 a.m. Well, well past 1 a.m. Because I was writing, I just wanted to finish this book already so that I can read through it and send it to my editor and hopefully, hopefully, make the stupid release date <laughs> that I said. Anyway, uh, I read about 5%, nothing more of the Jack of House. And I'm about 70% into Morning Star, which I plan to finish today. And I plan to get to about 50% through the Jackal's House. And then Saturday and Sunday, my reading time will go up quite a bit. So I'm hoping I'll be able to listen to Relentless and also read Dark Days. So now we're heading to the park for my first audiobook session of the day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye! Good morning, it's day 6 of Spookathon and I'm so far behind, I don't know how I'll pull it off, but I'm going to try. I've listened to about 3 hours and a half of Morningstar yesterday and got to about 40% in the other book, so I'm hoping I'll finish those two today and start on the other two. So let's see how that goes. At least I have a lot more time during the weekend, so there should be more updates because for day 4 and 5 I was kind of quiet. So, yeah, I'll see you all later.
<laughs> so quick check-in. I've been listening to Morning Star most of the day. I've been listening at the doggy park. Uh, and then while I was doing this crazy makeup, which is to film the All Hallows Eve tag. And um, that means I only have two hours left in this book. So I'm going to finish it today and then get into Relentless, which is great. Uh, and yeah, that's all the progress update I have from now. And um, going back to filming creepy stuff. Good morning, all. It's Alice, please. It's the final day of Spookathon. They're behind. But. Bless you. Um, I finished Morningstar last night. And. <laughs> it lost me there for a minute because I thought a certain thing that happened made no sense and I was angry. But I had to leave, so I didn't know what followed. And then. Um, when I came back and read the rest, I was like, oh, that was nicely done. I love this shit. Um, so it was the kind of book that used everything it threw on the table. There weren't things just mentioned and then disappearing for very long. They all came back and played their part into the overall story, which was great. And I've enjoyed it immensely. I'm about half through The Jackal's House. But I'm going to continue listening to Relentless today. I've started it last night and it seems quite interesting so far. Uh, and I'm going to read Dark Days today because that was supposed to count for two of my challenges. And it's kind of shorter. Now I'm aiming to finish that and finish Relentless. And if I can, I'll squeeze in what's left of The Jackal's House. But if not, I'm still happy with three books and a half. I'm still winning all the challenges with those three books because <laughs> that's how it goes. So um, I will catch you later. Bye! Hello everyone and welcome back to this Spookathon vlog. It's actually Monday Spookathon and it last night at midnight and I was just too tired to film an update then but I'm glad I didn't because when Spookathon ended, I was kind of upset over my progress and after sleeping on it and just going through what I've read uh, during the past week, I've realized I was a bit insane and I actually didn't do that bad. I've completed only one book. I got to about 80% of Relentless and I've got a third or close to 40% read in The Jackal's House and another 30% of Dark Days. Which at first I thought it was very little, but then I started adding up and uh, just listening time, nothing more. I spent 30 hours on books last week. Adding what else I read, it gets to an even 40 hours, which means a full work week of reading. So that's not bad at all. <laughs> I did okay, given the fact that I actually had a full work week last week and I worked on the weekend too. So there was a lot of writing involved last week and some edits and just a lot of stuff in general. So I have relaxed about it and now I'm really happy about what I did at Spookathon and how it felt during it. I think the only moment where I stressed out about it uh, was last night because I wanted to at least finish three books somehow. I don't know why, because the first book I read and went through, well, listened to, was Morningstar, which is a huge book. It had close to 23 hours of listening time. <laughs> so, I kind of set myself up for failure. And then I was watching a lot of blogs from people who chose smaller books and still didn't read as many as I thought everybody would. I was like, I'd be the worst at this. And um, what helped more than that was watching the Spookathon live show where they discussed the book and their progress and I've watched a few of their vlogs and I realized, dude, I did read close to, I mean, if I convert everything into pages, I read close to 1,000 pages, actually more than 1,000 pages in a week. And that's pretty freaking insane and I'm happy about it. So. I hope you've had a great spookathon. I hope you skipped the little freakout I had there at the end. 
I will be filming a wrap up of Spookathon on Wednesday when I will tell you all about the books I read and what I thought of them. I'm pretty sure I'll be finishing them until then because I have an hour left of Relentless which has been great so far and I will be finishing The Jackal's House and um, Dark Days as well because this week is not as bad as last week so I have a lot more time plus I've read huge chunks of all of them so I think I'll do a wrap up and tell you what I felt about the books during Spookathon and how I felt about them after finishing them and include that all in one video Model Citizen was not even into the mix for this one so I will read it next and do a separate review video on it so yeah that's how it went so far I will see you again on a Spookathon related video on Wednesday thank you so much for sticking with me through this um, experience I'm really glad I did it and I can't wait uh, to do it again next year I'm kind of tired because even if Spookathon was over I wanted to stay up and listen a bit more to <laughs> Relentless I actually fell asleep to listening to it and I had to go back a few chapters but anyway yeah that's it thanks for watching thanks for uh, sticking with the vlogs and there will be a wrap up coming soon as I said Comment down below how you did in Spookathon, if you were part of it, or let me know if you'd be interested in a readathon of sorts or a book club, like um, the girls who organize Spookathon are thinking of doing. And um, I'll see you very soon. Thanks again, and please subscribe if you haven't, because I post a lot of videos now, and I will probably continue to post more after October because I'm insane. So it helps to be notified every time I post. Thank you, bye!